Chris Chang here reporting for the Firearm Blog. So today I'm going to be doing a technical test on a product called Bullet Safe. This is a panel that was made by a father who owns a bulletproof vest company. And he decided to make these uh, panels for, for his kids. You know, to be really honest, I have some mixed emotions about testing this product and, you know, sort of the, the, the need for it and all. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, most of, I think, the opinion and commentary from, uh, from this test. And so basically the main point here is, you know, I want to see whether this panel does what it claims to, to do. And so level three, uh, 3A plating is uh, rated for handgun rounds up to 44 Magnum. We're going to start off by, uh, by shooting a 9mm ball, 124 grain uh, bullet into, uh, into a backpack that I've got back there with some books and stuff and we'll put the panel in. I'm curious to see what kind of protection just the books and binders are going to provide and then we'll take the panel out and we'll, I'll just shoot straight at the, at the, uh, at the, at the plate here and see, uh, you know, see if it uh, does what it claims. So uh, let's go take a look at the backpack. We just got a few a few books and a binder, and so I'm going to take the panel here. And remember, the soft side goes towards the back here. All right, and so I'm going to hit right below here, since the, that's where the books are falling. Let's get this started. First test is 124 grain nine millimeter round uh, going into the backpack. All right, let's go take a look. There's the uh, the impact point there, and so let's go ahead and uh, unzip this and kind of take a look. All right, so we've got a uh, bullet hole there. It went through went through uh, both books. Actually, went right through the uh, the binder there. Oh yeah, went out the other side. All right, and so here's the here's the panel. So. You can see that, uh, yeah, there's a sizable hole right there. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so it actually didn't penetrate the other side. So remember, this is the harder side. This is the foam side for comfort. So let's go ahead and take this out. All right, so there's the hole, and it did not penetrate the other side. So uh, successful test number one with, uh, with books in front of it. This panel is designed to withstand multiple shots, so uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and, and keep firing at it. For this next test, we just have the plate in the backpack, and I'm going to shoot one round at it just to see what the plate by itself, obviously just a, a small layer of protection with the, with the backpack layer. So let's see what happens. All right, so here's, uh, here's the impact point. And so let's go ahead and, and take a look inside at the panel here. Wow, okay. So there's some big uh, defor defor uh, deformity here on the plate. Uh, here's the impact point of, uh, of, of the bullet. It's a real tiny hole actually, which is, which is kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and open this up though. Let's see what happened here. Okay, so if you look at this, here's, so the whole plate has been deformed. Uh, we see a big indentation. Um, I can feel, you know, a lot of de deformation here. But here on the back side, there's no penetration. And so, uh, you know, the panel did its job again. Let me see if I can feel the slug in here. You know, it might be lodged in the plate, perhaps. It's not... It's not in the backpack, and hold on, let me just double check inside the sheath here. So it, it's not it's not in the backpack, it's not in the sheath, and so you know what that tells me is, right, the panel captured the bullet, and that's actually a really good thing because you don't want a bullet to ricochet, and obviously that can cause some collateral damage. And so, uh, you know, the, this plate took a uh, direct nine millimeter ball uh, hit, and so um, this plate can take multiple shots, so I'm gonna load up four or five rounds here and just 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 go at it and we'll, we'll take one last look so we're going to send five rounds into the plate it's just the plate inside the backpack and we've already shot at it twice so we're going to see if uh you know how many how many rounds this this plate can sustain so let's uh let's find out
So we've got a nice six shot group here. Uh, we've got a double and so let's go ahead and open this up and see what happened to the plate here. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and open this up first so I can see the six, six shots there. Open this up. Okay, and so here's, here's what all those impact points look like. Now on the back side here, we actually do see some damage here. It looks like at least one round came through. Here's a very clear, clear opening. We've got one round that exited the panel on the front side, and this is the foam on the back side. There's some shrapnel damage here. I don't think that's a bullet. And again, though, this was eight shots um, at the plate, um, and obviously in a very concentrated area of the shots. Uh, I would su suspect that the shots were in different areas of the panel that um, you know it may have uh, withstood additional shots, but because all that force was concentrated in one area, obviously with every shot, we're weakening the, uh, the polyethylene material. Uh, and so, uh, all in all, you know, the product, I think, does what it claims to do. And so, uh, obviously, there is a point of failure. I mean, bulletproof vests can only, or bulletproof plates, can only withstand so much damage before they will fail. Thanks for watching, and uh, you know, if you're interested in purchasing this product, uh, take a look at the link below. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and if you're interested in seeing more videos, hit the subscribe button, which is on my ugly face.